So first one is Equifax data breach. Before we look at how the attack happened, let's look at like the impact. What was the impact? So the Equifax breach resulted in attackers accessing personal informa information of 143 million individuals. And later it was corrected to 145.5 million individuals. It was also determined that 209,000 um, credit card numbers were stolen. Data exfiltration happened for 76 days and attackers ex actually accessed 51 databases. So what went wrong here? The first one is the attacker got into system with Apache struts vulnerability. So Apache struts vulnerability let attackers execute remote code execution vulnerability and they started looking into systems. When they did reconnaissance, they found out there are plain text username and password available. And using those plain text username and password, they did more reconnaissance and got access to multiple different databases. Once they got access to different uh, data stored in plain text, what they did is encrypted this plain text data and then started the data exfiltration. Equifax had um, tools to detect this kind of malicious activities where even if the data is sent encrypted, they could look at, crack it open, look at the data, look at and analyze what is this data being sent. However, the intended system did not behave properly because it failed to use the renew the certificate which the systems were using. It was not renewed for 10 months. If they would have had operational, good operational practices of renewing different certificates on time, especially for this critical system, they could have analyzed this issue. If analyzed and avoided this issue. If they could have used uh, cryptography to hash username and password and have tight access control around them, the issue could have been avoided. So as you can see here, attackers got into server for, uh, to, through their online dispute. Once they got into, uh, once they breach online dispute service, they got access to different uh, databases. And once they got access to different databases, they, they got additional access to uh, 14, 48 more databases. Once they have that access, they started encrypting uh, the data and exfiltrating uh, in small chunks so that it is un un detectable. 